Colorado's Universal Preschool Program is facing legal pushback on multiple fronts tonight. Several school districts, including Harrison School District 2 in the spring, says the state program not doing what it had promised for parents. News 5's Maggie Bryan here in studio breaking down the lawsuit filed today against the governor and the state's Board of Education. Maggie? Robin Diane, this lawsuit alleges the rollout of the Universal Pre-K program has excluded children with disabilities. Harrison School District 2 says when parents come to them with concerns, their hands are tied. We were promised things in our state that we are not having delivered. The superintendent of Harrison School District 2 in Colorado Springs says Universal Preschool across the state is a great idea. But its rollout has been the opposite of universal. We have been waving a red flag for three years. Governor Polis signed the Universal Preschool Program, or UPK Act, into law in April last year. It allows every child in the state to get 10 hours of preschool each week for free. Now several school districts say multiple problems have come up along the way. It is all outlined in this lawsuit filed Thursday by six different school districts and special education leaders against the governor and the state's board of education. It alleges the rollout has been unlawful because children with disabilities have been placed in schools that cannot meet the needs of their individualized education program or IEP. D2 superintendent says the online pairing system does not give them full access to see which children have IEPs, creating problems down the road. The pairing is a mess. Sometimes they'll be paired with a school who doesn't even provide the services. We even had um, some kids that were from Denver placed down in Colorado Springs. D2 special education director says private schools are not required to provide services for children with disabilities. The frustration expressed by the parent is because my child has an IEP, I don't have the right to choose in this situation where other families do because their students don't have special needs. The lawsuit also claims the Colorado Department of Early Childhood promised 30 hours of free preschool to at-risk students. The lawsuit claims the department changed the requirements for who can get the extra hours at the last minute and cut back funding. Parents were promised 30 hours if they had at-risk factors, which for us is most of our students, and now they're being told 10 to 15. It means that districts or the providers are having to fund that out of their own finances to make up that time for families. District 2 started school last Tuesday, but the superintendent says only about half the children they expected are enrolled in preschool. We have kids that are not in preschool that need to be in preschool. And this is not a D2 issue, it's a state issue. District 2 says through this lawsuit, they are hoping to get full access to the online pairing system and funding from the state to provide the 30 hours of pre-K to at-risk children.